Hello, and welcome. I'm Zinder, and here we are, stranded on a planet. Our ship destroyed and only having a landing rover in order to survive. Which is technically no longer a rover. Technically, it's a flying ship. But, uh... Anyhow, I've replaced the ground texture. I've... Well, let me just bring up the steam overlay. Uh, I have chosen the Earth-like texture replacement. I have it loaded just above the ice and I think above the fractured stone ones as well. I don't know if the load order really matters too much with these. I I do have the other ice one. Hopefully it's loading instead of this one. Just a little bit easier to see when you're on the ice. Um, so this adds, as you can see the file size is 192 megabytes. About that. Uh, I have added, I guess we'll start with the text HUD API which is by itself it does nothing but it is a, you call it a library or a dependency, and I've added HUD LCD so I can put LCDs directly on my screen if I wish, and also the automated ore pickup mod. As you can see down there, it applies text. So, you know whether or not it's doing stuff. I don't know if I really need that one, but it's there. The more important thing is I wanna find something to take over or salvage. So, I'll just go have a little adventure and see if we can't find something. The problem is, is getting it to spawn. Uh, also, I can't really, you can't really see it right now because it's dark. Let's see if I can get close to the uh, mountain here. As you can see, the edge of my snow is no longer messed up, nor is that little bit of flickering. Um, all I did for that was I actually turned up shader quality slightly. I changed it up from low to medium. And I've changed voxel quality down because honestly, I've never seen a difference. But hey, that's just me. I uh, should have looked up the thing to put into the activator. You know what? I've got this open already. Let's just uh, look it up real quick. Uh, I am using Active Radar Update specifically. Uh, the line we want is minimum distance. Now the thing is, is it has integer listed in oops, uh, parentheses, but I don't believe that's how it works. So we'll just do 30. So is that? Oh yeah, I don't have wheels anymore, so I'm not going to be able to see if that's doing anything. I'm good at this. I'm not as concerned about the power as you might think, because, as I said, I'm using... That, that's the batteries. The batteries are draining first. I'll probably keep batteries, but I might move the ones that exist and place new ones in more convenient locations. Oh! We have a marker. It had an antenna and then it disappeared. This is where the uh, the radar mod comes in place. And on the other side of the mountain, I need to get a camera on this. It is a medium unknown 481. I said when it showed up, it had a yellow or yellow white blip. So I think it's one of the crashed ships. Just in case. Bring ourselves forward. Hopefully the front thrusters can stabilize us. Uh, are you on or off? You are currently on. That looks to be a crashed ship. Oops. So we're going to turn the turret off. Don't want the turret to shoot it. We're gonna head in and start our first little salvage mission here. If it has ion thrusters, we can get our first platinum, and I might pump it into a shield. Oh, 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 breaks. Break with the bottom thrusters since we have four of them. Do 
believe auto lock is on. I see ion thrusters. Is that a missile turret? Please don't shoot me. I believe this is technically part of the civilian faction. This is uh, moderately concerning. Uh, let's just. Well, it's not shooting at me yet. Hey there. Let's see, got some solars, some ion thrusters. Uh oh. Please don't shoot at creatures. I don't want to blow up. And, uh, I did look into the change notes for the mod. It does, in fact, loot creatures now. It was an intended change. It does exist. So that's good. I don't have to loot each spider individually. Uh, this is the ground texture up close. Way better than the old one. So, let's see. That's a refinery. That's another refinery. That is a lot of steel plates. Why is there little ramp things here if there's... whatever. Okay. Let's see where it's busted up in the back. Cargo container. Now the build and repair when ripping things apart can take the containers. Or it'll uh, loot stuff out of the containers. How is all this powered? I have a feeling it might be powered by, like, batteries that are in the ground right now or something. Yeah, I think that's the case. Um, hopefully it won't get angry if I start tearing it apart. This would go very bad very quickly. See, it says priorities are used. Oh. Yeah, how about that? Yeah, that's better. Okay, so let's have a look at what we get out of the, uh... There's no missiles in here. So, I guess it had no ammo. Question is, do I want to invest in another build, build and repair system? Hmm. I don't really have a good place to put it. Maybe right here. It'll just make this that much quicker. Ah, perfect. use this. So obviously I'll want to add this to this group. Just quickly click through these settings. I don't even remember. I think it was 314. Whoops. Okay, good, 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 good. Turn the volume down a little bit. Okay. Should. Oh, it's probably turned off right now. It's also incomplete. Right. Oh, my broadcasting is off. Right? Yes. Uh, for you. Can you do me a favor? Can you do grind if weld gets stuck? Man, 
and now it is producing, I assume, the small steel tubes first. Looks like it. Uh, looks like it's gotten most of the thrusters already. This beacon is obnoxious. And we don't even really need it because antennas are equally as useful. Because, like, if you look at this, it's set to 10,000, whatever. This can be set up to equally ridiculous distances. And here's spiders. Or I should say bugs. So they're not spiders with this, they're bugs. See? They have four legs, some, uh, mandibles or front claws or whatever, and then it's got its giant jaw of doom and death. Okay, so... There is a slight concern that I might be slightly out of range, so I guess I'll move that up. Better. Whoa! Wall of text. Wall of text, come back! This is... You see that, right? Oh, oh god. Grind targets count 390. Oh. Oh my. I could technically put another one of these, like, right next to this, except that I don't have any way to pipe it up. Well. Hmm. Three fourteen. Three fourteen. Guess it just doesn't want to. So this is a good start. First thing I want to do. Oh God! Don't do that. Go anywhere else. I mean, oh yes, that's going to be a decent bit of platinum. Ideally, I would like to not have to need a refinery, but having one is good. So I'm going to keep the refinery, but I'm going to, uh, I've done this the right way, yes. I'm going to focus on upgrading the assembler instead. To find an actual thing. And now, like, easy inventory is up there in the top corner instead. Okay. Whoa, space bug. And it's gone. Bugs are free components. Although I feel like they may have too many. Where'd you go? Hey, space bugs. Stop going in the ground. Stop hiding. All of them? Might be. This thing looks ridiculous. I need to rebuild this as soon as I f can find some sort of an actual base of operations. Which is technically going to rely on some pirates. I'm aware I'm not getting a whole lot done right now. It's more about actually having a base of operations to work with. Like I said, I want to find and take over a pirate base. Can you not do armor that early, please? Armor blocks are on the very bottom. So why are you doing armor right now? Are you 
not. Are you? Oh, oh, it's not. There's things under the ground. Yeah, now it's getting this refinery. Uh, doors are still up. As I say that. So it should actually grab the glass before it even starts eating at the armor. In theory. Oh, there's a conveyor tube. A few conveyor tubes, actually. Is that running the ground? Does it stop there? Sure. Uh. Hello? This has got to be doing things under the ground right now. Oh, there's a hole up here. Hmm. I have made quite a mess in here. Hmm, yes, that looks safe. Exposed rotor tops right next to the bed bay. Batteries are pumping out power. Hey, you. Can you click through? Because I want to know why you're not grinding anything right now. I want to make sure you still have grinded targets. Zero. Oh. Because technically nothing still on the ship is owned, so I need to do this. I have a distance filter on. Why are you showing? Or oh, maybe I'm an idiot. It does actually need... the uh, parentheses. Let's see when it refreshes. Hmm. Still there. The last time I got this to work, I actually put in both. I had it like this. Eh, no. Still... Still not accepting that. Strange. Well then. Uh, this is kind of the problem that I have right now. I really like just the windows right now. Honestly, don't really care about anything else. Just want the bulletproof glass. Did you get all the conveyors? Conveyors have been got. I assume most of the things under the ground are also got. Once I get away from this, cleanup should take care of the rest of it, so. Should not have to worry about that. Said. Off we go. Technically, don't need to turn like that, but it's more fun. The sun is blinding. Let's block it out. Now, the thing is, is for some odd reason, the way it's set up, I may have to look into the configuration of the mod, but it has to do with like distance traveled before it starts spawning things. And I might want to edit it to see if I can get it to spawn things more regularly. because the whole point of this is I want to do a whole bunch of combat and salvaging and not as much mining. Ooh, on the topic of things. Yeah, this is... This looks like a lot of materials. But, like, for example, let's look at... Let's look at a normal thruster. 
if you have a similar efficiency at 10 times, that would actually be like 3.2 platinum, but because it's not, it's 32. Like, look at that, 384 platinum for a large thruster. So it doesn't, ooh, hello, asking ye shall receive. It has radar on, so I am going to dis- or a radar, a beacon and or antenna on, so I'm going to disable that and have a nice little fly. Also, you may have noticed the jaggies on things have been massively reduced. I have attempted to force some better anti-aliasing through the AMD control panel, AMD settings, whatever you want to call it. And also, I have the FXAA in-game enabled now, so they should complement each other and make things nice and smooth, which they're definitely a lot better than it was. Slow down, slow down, don't want to approach too quickly. I feel like I need a camera. Oops. Buy a camera? Cameras have better zoom. Where do I put said camera? Hmm. Can I put it on the front of the landing gear, I wonder? Of course not. That would be too simple. You know what? It's a terrible place. It'll do. Okay, so which way is the right side up on the camera? I can't remember if the dot is down. Well, I guess I'll find out, won't I? Whoa, that's not how this is supposed to look technically. Okay, so what do we got here? Looks like I see, is that like two turrets at least on the top? Let's get a little closer and use the camera a little bit better. Now, I should be able to get as close as about 900 meters and definitely not have to worry about getting shot at. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Except for when you accelerate too quickly. Okay. Uh, camera, camera, camera. Can I have you on my bar, please? Thank you. Those turrets? What are those? I can't tell if they're turrets. That is most definitely a turret, though. So, um, I have magnesium. I want to try, try make some AP shells. This gun is pretty strong, but at the same time, you have to keep in mind the fact that because I have assembler efficiency turned to realistic, I get five shots, and that's a quarter of my uh, materials here. So, there. Oh. Are you not auto-loading? You did not auto-load. Fire the hole! Crap. I thought that might be a problem. I have to actually get closer. I don't really want to. Whoa! So, um... Can you do me a favor and not auto-fire at all, please? Thank you. Okay. Let's have... How much damage did I do? Let's look at the front section there. Okay. Uh, oh, hello. I am severely wrecking parts of the base. Is that a turret over there? Now, I don't know what the range on interior turrets is, but I'm pretty sure it's lower than your average turret. Whoops! Uh, 
I don't see any turrets at the moment. I'm not gonna lie. The gun is a little strong, but that was... I mean, I spent like five minutes mining platinum and making five shells, of which I've used three of so far, utilized, you know, a quarter of my... Whoa, 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 whoa. There you are. This is bad. Out of ammunition? Oh god. What's the damage? Have I lost anything yet? Nope, it's just nailing armor plate, and because it's an interior turret, it's doing very little damage. Okay. Still have two times AP shells? What? I thought I only made five of them. Or do I get more than... I have two shots left. That's weird. Where is this other interior turret that was blasting me? Are you at Frendo? This really qualifies as a base of operations, though. It's got very little to it. It's got to be on the other side of the stairs there. I assume when I come out this way, I'll start getting shot at. No? There you are. Dead? Why do I still have two shots? Dead. Is this bug that I can't actually run out of ammo? Oh god. Move up, move up. Oh, well, I can. Did I get rid of it? How much damage should we take? Uh, we lost one of their armor slopes. That's fine. Okay, we're out of ammunition, so let's hope that there's no other turrets on the outside of this. I'm gonna turn you off. Okay. Whoa! Um. Okay, so my dampeners were off. It appears I may have lost... What did I lose? An armor block? An armor block there. All the primary core pieces appear to still be intact, so that's good. That's... oxygen generator, I think? Jerks!
Okay, uh, I kind of blew out the stairs. Whoops. So... That's an interior turret. Plus down this door. Oops. Okay. Any others? If you tell me I just got killed by a spider through the floor, I'm gonna be very upset right now. That might be what happened. Or not. Oh. Hey. You nabbed my gun. So I know what's going on. Come on now. I know one of you nabbed my rifle. Really? That's weird. Well, I guess I'll use the default rifle they gave me. So... This is a fun little setup they've got going on here. Whoops. Pretty sure... Somewhere within the confines of the building structure, there's a welder that's switched to on. And basically what it's doing is it's welding me to death through the floor. even 100% sure now. Oh, extra tools. Did I turn the building repair systems off? That's probably what I did. I turn you back on. There's the gun. Now I don't want to just eat this. I don't want to cheese it. What? How do I break down a door and then don't even have all the components required for it? There's a couple of welders somewhere inside of this base. And I think they're down below, but basically have to be. The question is, where? Ship. Giving me my stuff back. Give me that. Give me that. You can have. Okay, fine. I won't worry about it right now. Uh, 
I assume the welders are built into these floor sections. See, here's the weird part. All I see when I look in here is oxygen generators. And then I get stuck in the wall and die from that. Ah, uh, space engineers. Yeah, look, look at this. Stuck in a wall. I am accidentally duping tools like crazy right now. What are you gonna do? Okay, so where would it be up here then? Oh, no, that's the antenna. It basically has to be in the floor. It took my grinder again. Okay. I'm gonna need you to give that back. Uh... Right. It's off, so it didn't pick it up. Turn it back on. Should have picked it up by now. Right? You know what? Screw you too, then. I'll use the default grinder. Cut every single block off of this. Until I figure out where these grinders or welders are. It really seems odd to me that I can't find them. picking things up right now. I really wish I knew where the welders are in this thing. Because I don't understand how it can be killing me with welders and I can't actually find them. Is that it there? Are they just like right inside one of these wall panels or something? That's a cargo container. That's also a cargo container. That's a battery. Those are doors. Gotcha, jerk. So does that mean 
that the other one is then just in here? Or is it one welder for the entire room? Oh no, there's two welders. I'm already aware of this. There it is. Also a jerk. Whoops. I may have accidentally just disabled the antenna. Road repair group one. Uh, antenna on. I'm sure my hydrogen bottles are getting low or empty. Basically empty. Okay. Let's go explore this the way. Hello? The way we're meant to. Now that I've sufficiently dealt with the welders. Looks like it ground off the turret while I wasn't paying attention. What am I dying? Where did I find those cargo containers? Or did it eat them already? I'm going to assume the build and repair system ate them. Yeah. Well, that's unfortunate. I wanted to see what was in them. Anyhow, this has gone on pretty long, and I think I've safeified it. I don't think there's any uh, weapons left here. Not much of anything. It's not really worth calling a base, so we'll have to find... Keep looking next time. Oh, jerks. Okay. It is all fully comprehended now. So anyhow... I'm gonna sit here and let it eat the entire observation post, as it does. I will see you guys next time. Have a good day.